today I built a double side arch. I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to show you how I mark out the arch, the way how to, to cut the stone to form the arch, and how to cut around the arch. In all going to come up in this video. With no further ado, let's dive right into the video, guys. Hey guys, how it's going? So like I said earlier today, we're doing a stone arch. So um, in this video, I'm not gonna show you guys how I make my arch. I already have my arch over here. I will have a video link down in the description and up in the card as well, where I, I show you guys the simple and easiest way to mark out the arch using a tape measure. It's the same method to do this one here. So this is my arch that I have here today. It's a pretty simple stone arch, uh, as you see. So the measurement is um, seven feet and a quarter plus eight and, and a quarter. I already work out the entire thing right now. I'm just showing you guys the drawing. This is uh, this is the, the house that we're doing with stone. If you don't watch those videos, you can go back and check those videos out. We install um, stone over angle iron. So guys, um, let's let's get started. Now we're gonna mark our stone. The measurement that I'm gonna work with today is 10 inches. Just put them on a piece of plywood, trying to get all of them straight and nice and right. And then we wanna mark 10 inches. That's that's where I put my my soldier 10 inches here. Another 10 inches down here. Here's a long level. I'm down here first. Here's a long level like so. Now we're gonna cut this guys. And remember guys, don't lift your mask. Save the lungs. way guys you get everything nice and straight one straight line for your arch we have everything nice and and cut so now we're gonna set up our arch let's go guys so guys first thing we want to do we want to put a two by six onto the wall so that you could hold up our arch this is almost eight feet Need another one over here. Watch this Okay, guys. Next thing we want to do, we want to plumb. Want to make sure. 100%. Okay. So guys, I want to plumb. I'm sure the arch is plumb. 100%. Hold, hold, put your hand on the level and hold up the board itself. Bring you over back here and take it. Look down there, sir. Not a small one, don't you say? Forget that. This is the setup of our heart right now. We just set up we're about to start to lay our arch. This is a double arch, in and outside. So we gotta turn it inside and then we gotta turn it on the outside as well. You see what I mean as we go.
Yeah, so this is a double sided arch. We already done the front, now we are working on the back. Actually, I was gonna bring it up without um, video in it because the front and the back is similar, but I, I thought I'd give you guys a look of how to do a double heart. So, as you see here, I already bird beak in this side here. You can see the top this side here. Just need to put in back this, um, this piece of stone here, and then we're just gonna continue around. Basically, we already laid the outside one because we're gonna have a joint in the center afterwards. Here, we wanna try and maintain a straight line for a few. You just wanna match the brick on the, the outside, the one on the inside. That way, when you pull it down, we have a straight line running in the middle. This is what I mean as I get there. So, I'm gonna go right here. The idea is to, to try to get all these lines that we have here match up with the inside one so that when you pull it off later on you can have both stone match um, go right across. This is basically how it is. As you see, I cut this one out. Now I'm gonna cut a piece to put back right here. Now we'll finish the inside of our arch. Now we wanna fill here and you wanna mix the mortar a bit uh, soupy, a bit soft, and try and fill and compact down here so that it could hold it all together. I'm gonna fill down here. I'm gonna try and get it so that the mortar could go almost down here so when we do our joint, Later on, we have a nice and compact. I fill in betwixt the, the joining of both stone solid, and you want to mix the mortar a bit uh, soupy, a bit wet, and fill it really nice. That way, the uh, mortar could go down in the bottom section there. And, um, and, and the plate here, you want to try and get as much brick tie as possible as you can get to support it. Um, this is a double sided arch as you see so we finish install our brick ties now guys like I said you want to put as much as possible to help support it so now we're gonna cut our stone for our arch so now we're gonna do our marking first thing you want to do you want to catch as you see here we already tweet our corner so you want to catch your level you want to mark it on your, your stone, so we're going to put a mark here. Okay, so first one, you can do it either way. You can either do it this way, hold it up like this. Try to get it to the point like that. Catch, mark the top, and you could mark the bottom. You want to transfer the mark from the back to the front. So this mark here, you want to put it at the front, like so. This one here, you want to put it at the front as well. And then you want to score it across. So this is one way to catch your mark. I'll show you another way in a second. Right on, just like that. Check with our level, all good. Okay, so we finished with that one. Now, what you want to do, you want to use the level again, bring it over here. This is where the level is. Beautiful. So you can do it either way. You could use measurement, which I'm gonna use this method method right now, show you guys. Just demonstrate a way how you could mark it. Now this way is to use your tape measure. So now we got a measure from here. Okay, 
So this is 170 is our, our longest stone that we have here, which is a medium. So what you want to do is, we get this stone here. You want to mark 170. That's going to fall right here. So from here up, you want to take your measurement, which would be one inches. One inch is done. This is our level point. You want to catch the measurement from this point over, which will be five inches. Take five inches from here. Take the five inches from here. We take our one inches from the top down. Now we're going to score it across. Just like so guys. Now let's cut it. side now remember we're doing a double sided arch guys so what you want to do to catch the, the measurement for the inside you want to catch put your level across take your measurement down okay I have another one my spent and good puff fell I have another one it's not gonna be good today okay so we're gonna cut this one Six inches. Wanna take our measurement from the top down. This is six inches. And remember, catch your measurement of our stone which is nine inches. I hope this don't worry guys, you will catch on as we go. It may look a bit complicated, but you see. Try and watch the video till the end. And here is one and a half. So from this point, from the top down I want to catch one and a half. And then we're gonna score it across just like how we did the other the, the one before. Just like so. Oh, it's perfect guys. Perfect. If it's your first time lay stone, just take your time. Gradually you will get there. Watch a few more of my video. I have a beginner video there as well where I go more depths in details. Okay. Uh, Man-made stone. I believe it was a permican. Okay, guys, so we're good for that one now. Let's cut a small, tiny piece for here.
church now as you see guys I'm giving you a look right before I do the, the jointing you know we're gonna feel in our hearts right now Thank you. 